Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Chase at Rocky Mount ATVMC and this is our 2022 Dual Sport and Adventure Cold Weather Glove Buyer's Guide. All right, everyone, thank you for checking in. So today we're gonna help you find your next Dual Sport Adventure Glove built specifically for cold weather riding. We've got a lot of great options to choose from, so hopefully today we can help narrow it down for you. We've got a lot of great options on the table, and I do wanna point out that I'm going to be brief. I will go through and talk about each one, some of the key features and why we put it into our buyer's guide, and hopefully by the end of it, there'll be a couple that you like. And the best advice I can give is watch product spotlights where we talk about the gloves in full detail. You can read rider reviews. You can ask questions on the product page to get answers from customers who have bought and are using these gloves. So take advantage of that good information that is out there. Now, a couple things or some advice that we might want to give to you, because as you know, we do a ton of adventure rides and we are not afraid of cold weather, is one, if you don't have heated grips or a grip heater kit on your bike already, get one. That will make a huge difference for cold weather riding. We have spotlights on those. We have how-to videos. Also, what we will typically do, depending on the ride that we're going on, is we'll a lot of times just take two sets of gloves. If you're going to be going on a ride where you're going to have maybe hot, warm conditions in the afternoon, but it could be cold in the morning, cold in the afternoon, or evening times, then yeah, it's nice to have a second set of gloves, depending on the conditions that you're going to be riding in. So keep in mind, it's never a bad idea to have both sets. With that being said, let's dive in and talk about each glove and help you decide which one's going to be best for you. First up, I've got the Climb Glove Liners here. This is the 1.0. We offer these, I believe, in three different thicknesses. If you have a good glove that you like already and maybe you don't want to buy an all-new glove, but you are looking to add a little bit of extra warmth, a glove liner could be a good route. They're affordable. The only thing I would point out, though, with a glove liner is just sizing. So with this, this is the 1.0. This is the thinnest option. With these, not all gloves that I've tried on would still fit if I put this glove liner on. A lot of people recommend going up one size in their glove if you're rocking some of these, so keep that in mind. But that also does lead me to our fit guarantee. We ship for free over 75 bucks, and if you get a glove that you don't like, you can send it back in brand new unused condition. We'll give you free shipping both ways on your first exchange to make sure you're happy with the glove that you get and the fit that you want. All right, next up, we've got the MSR 80V Wind Block. It's a glove that we wear a lot here at Rocky Mountain for good reason. We actually designed it here and it checks off a lot of the boxes that we like in an adventure glove. It's nice and lightweight. You've got goatskin leather construction. You've got D3 padding here over top the knuckles with some reflectivity. But what's nice about this glove is just like the name says, it blocks a lot of the wind. So for us with this glove, we'll dip into around the 40 degree mark. And as long as we've got heated grips and some hand guards on there, this glove does pretty dang good in those cooler temperatures. So again, it's one glove that we really do like. And it's affordable, 35 bucks, you can't beat the price. Moving on from there, you have the Climb Inversion Pro. With the Inversion Pro, this has the Gore Wind Stopper Liner inside of it. So it's 100% windproof. It's not waterproof, something you can remember, but it will block the wind entirely. And here's something that I love about the Inversion Pro. It's the Pittard's Armor Tan Leather. Of all the gloves that are up here today, this is my favorite leather. It is so soft, it feels so good. And also what I do like about this glove is even with the full leather palm, it still has good feel on the control. So I'm a big fan of this glove. You do have some padding or armor here over top the knuckles as well. Now from there you have the Klein Power Cross. So the Power Cross is kind of similar to the Inversion Pro. You still got the leather palm on here. What's different though is that this is Gore-Tex waterproof. And what I like about this glove too is that it has the Gore Grip technology which is important because inside here you have 100 grams of thin slate insulation. So you're gonna get insulation inside, it's gonna be waterproof. And what's nice about that Gore Grip technology inside is that the Gore-Tex liner is actually laminated to the leather. And what's nice about that is when you put it on and you're gripping the controls, you don't have a separate waterproof liner inside that you can feel sliding around. So it's just gonna offer better feel when you're grabbing things. So again, that's the Power Cross. Both these gloves are come right about or just under the $100 mark. Now moving on from there, you have the Revit Sand 4 H2O. And looking at this glove, you can see you definitely jump up in the protection scheme. If you're looking for a lot of protection in the glove that's gonna be waterproof, this would be a good option. You do jump up in price to about $140. But 
Here's what I like about this glove. You've got really good construction with a 500 denier shell on the back of the hand with, that's got a lot of stretch to it, makes it comfortable. You've got a big TPR protector here over top the knuckles. You've got some TPR on the fingers. And then as far as the palm of the hand goes, you've got goatskin leather construction, but you've got a palm slider on the heel, so they're adding protection there as well. And again, this glove is going to be waterproof and it does have a tri-fleece liner on the inside. So it's gonna check off a lot of boxes for a lot of riders. Now the last glove, is the Climb Adventure GTX. This, looking at it compared to the Sandfor H2O, they both, I would say, have about the same amount of protection, but there's a few differences about the Adventure GTX I wanna point out. So price, it is price, you jump up to about 180 bucks, but you've got the big carbon fiber knuckle protector, you've got that on the fingers, you've got the protection on the heel of the hand, just like with the Revit, but with this glove, your Gore-Tex, and what I like too is that this glove does has that gore grip technology, just like the Power Cross. So I've tried both of these on. I went out to a bike and grabbed the controls. The Adventure GTX is, in my opinion, gonna have better feel on the controls than with the Revit, simply because of that gore grip, because like I said, you don't have that separate waterproof liner that is sliding around inside there. So it just has really good feel and dexterity. So overall, I'm a big fan of that. And it's gonna check off just like that Revit, the boxes for all the riders that want the most protection in a waterproof glove. Now, last but not least, we have the Gerbin S7 V7. This is gonna be our heated option up here. If you want the most warmth possible, then we would tell you to go grab one of these. And what I like about this glove specifically is that it's battery powered. And what's nice about that is that you can buy just the gloves by themselves. You don't have to get a jacket liner, you don't have to worry about pants. And you can just rock these using the battery. It's a rechargeable battery, you get up to eight hours of battery life. And what I like is that it makes it to where you can use these gloves for more than just riding your motorcycle. If you wanna to go to an event where you want some heated gloves, you can take these with you because they're just battery powered. What's nice too is that you do have a pocket here on the top of the hand where the battery slides into, so it's kinda of out of sight, out of mind. When I try these on, I turn on the full power, they get nice and warm. You've got three different heat settings and these are waterproof. So if you are looking for a good heated glove, this new Gerbing heated glove is a really good option. And that does it. That is our 2022 Dual Sport and Adventure Cold Weather Glove Buyer's Guide. So hopefully this kind of give you some good options to look at. Hopefully you've narrowed it down to a couple. Again, watch the product spotlights, read writer reviews. Those are going to really help you out. If you have questions, leave those in the comment section below. To see all these gloves and the other glove options that we do carry, you can click on the link in the description or head to rockyvonn8tvmc.com. Like I mentioned, we ship for free over 75 bucks. And if you like this buyer's guide and you wanna see more like it, get subscribed to the Rocky Mountain YouTube channel, hit that notification bell, and that'll keep you up to date. I am Chase and we'll see you on the trails.